Hello there, survivors. Today is a new Dino Day. They've added the Dino Sutures to the game. So it's time to leave our beautiful base behind and go out and find it. I think it should spawn in the swamp. Uh, we need some ghillie suit to tame it. Uh, so let's go try that. But quick update, if you do want this base, um, it is up right now for members, but soon, or maybe already when you're watching this video, depending on when you see it, it will be up normally on the channel, so you can build this beautiful ocean base as well. So the Dino Sutures has just been added to the base game of Ark, and yeah, that means we're gonna go out and try and look for it, and I figured... You know, it's been a while since I've used my Rhino Natha, so let's go out on this beauty and uh, see if we can find some. I figured if we're heading for the swamp, I think that's probably most likely where we'll find them. This is a pretty appropriate mount. Now, I will say I have tamed the Dino Suit just before on my community server where we did have the mod on. So I do know a little bit. I know I need a ghillie suit. I've brought some kibble, I think that should work. And otherwise we just need some prime meat, I think. And we need to sneak up and give it some food. And hopefully we can find a decent level one and maybe some cool color. Um, but yeah, it's fun to see those modded creatures slowly but surely making their way over to the base game. Because yeah, they're, they're pretty cool uh, creatures and they're very nice additions i would say to the game they fit in very well and i'm happy to see them coming um, only one this time unfortunately but still cool to see i actually also still need to tame the the little uh, jumpy fish that probably is right below me um but yeah we we haven't done that yet we definitely need to do that because i got a big ocean base with a big water pen might as well fill it with some of these amazing creatures right Okay, we have arrived at the swamp. Now, hopefully, we can find ourselves a big croc and, uh, yeah, get this taming on the way. I think I can hear it snapping its big jaw. There we go. There's one over here. That is one big croc, all right. It's a 135 as well, so that's pretty good level wise changed into my camo suit now what we need to wait for is first of all it needs to stop fighting whatever it's fighting and then hopefully it will i think it's it just should lay down and open its mouth i think it's now laying down so i'm gonna touch down here okay so there we go the dino switches is right over here oh god Something else found us. It's got its mouth open again. It's walking. It looks so cool. I think the problem here is I can't really crouch and approach it. Would be nice if it came over here to the land. Okay, it's still over here. Yeah, I think the problem here might be that I can't really crouch in most of these places. Oh, it looks so cool. Yes. Open your mouth. Nope. Actually need to go. Okay, we did the feed. That went well. Without any issues. Oh god, they look so cool though. Alright. <laughs> It looks so cool. They're so giant. Oh, I can't wait for this. 
please. There we go. Yeah, look at that jaw. There we go. We got our dino sutures. Oh, look at that thing. It's so big. Oh. We got the <laughs> note as well. Okay, there we go. We can take it back here to see it. Oh, look at this beauty. It's so big. Yeah, this is going to be a fun creature to have. Look at this. Okay, so we got a female. Pretty good level as well. What I'm going to try now is see if I can find a male as well. And then we can start maybe, you know, breeding them a little bit before testing them out. Okay, I found another Dinosuchus. It's a male. We should be able to just feed it again. And this also has a pretty decent level, so hopefully oh, we can get this all done nice and easy. If it doesn't get distracted too much. There we go. Look at the guy. Yeah, they are very cool creatures. Okay, well, he's lost interest in me. There we go. We got it. Okay, now we've got some of these guys. Let's get back to base, breed them up, and then we can have one for a little spin around and see what they can do. Okay, here we are. I've got three dino sutures because I found a higher level female as well. So we'll start enabling the mating so they can all mate. So I've got two females and one male, all pretty good levels. And they should start mating now. This one doesn't seem to be close enough. So let's swim it over here. And now they should all be mating. And it's just a matter of time before we get some uh, cute big croc babies, hopefully. Um, we got pretty muted colors. Like this one is the most camouflaged, like very basic. The male actually has some cool reds or oranges in it. This one is like a proper copper uh, colored dino, like pretty cool. So yeah, I'm just going to wait now for them to be making babies and then we'll check it out all right we got our first egg right over here Let's see if we can get the second egg as well okay brought them all over to the base so they've got some food and now we can take the eggs inside to the dino breeding chamber here in my main base um actually the tutorial for this should be coming up soon it might be up already it will be up for members already but um yeah it will be up soon on the channel so if you want the same base as i have a big nice ocean base you can do that pretty soon just waiting for these eggs to hatch shouldn't be too long now should be getting a baby soon i hope that we get the the nicer colors i mean it doesn't matter too much for stats or anything just want something to to let grow up and then we can go out and see what they can do but um nice color would be nice to get started with right we got two opportunities here so we'll see one of them hopefully will be something nice something good something exciting let's hatch there we go Ooh, this one has a lot of red. This one, just a little bit. There we go. Two little tiny big crocs following us. Let's split them up a little bit so that when they grow, they're not both, you know, in 
each other. But yeah, this one really has some nice colors to it. I like the red effect on this one. Looks very, very cool. This one, a little bit more gray, but still you have a little bit of color on the back at least. There we go. I mean, there is even some some cyan in there, apparently. Not quite sure where that cyan would be or if it is even visible. But yeah, that's a decent color. But this one looks more exciting. This one also has a bright green. So I'm not sure if that's actually being used. But yeah, the red is pretty cool. Okay, this is pretty lucky. So this one actually has a random mutation. It's in weight, which not the best, but also not the worst. I mean, I'm not too worried about the stats, to be honest. But yeah, the color, at least, is pretty nice. All right, they've all grown up and healed up. They are pretty big, but they can luckily still fit outside this gate. And yeah, they are pretty cool, aren't they? Give them some extra food. Yeah, they are pretty cool swimmers. So I think they've got a couple abilities. At least I can see your ability now. It's surface swimming. So I guess this is free swimming. So when we go in the water, we can do anything. We have the bites. Um, this is going down. This is going up. So yeah, we have the bite if we hold long enough. It's a pretty big bite. And then we got a normal bite. And we can turn around as well. Okay. I think we also got a tail swipe but maybe that's only on land let's go let's go at, go on the, to the coast and see what kind of damage we can do on here and maybe if our skills are slightly different so yeah we got some pretty good damage already i do have boosted stats of course so yeah this is still the bite so we have a pretty big bite there we go that was quite cool and i think yeah they keep taking damage for a little bit after the bite yeah so c on pc is the tail swipe there we go didn't actually knock it back i thought that would do more there we go yeah it does do some knockback yeah these are pretty cool creatures i'm so happy that they are now in the normal game this is such a fun creature such a cool big croc definitely what the sharko should have been like this is this is what you think when you think dinosaurs and crocodiles right like this is this is so cool yeah, this is going to be a fun, fun one to use, fun one to take around into the ocean, into the lakes. It's pretty fast in the water. Like, it's not super fast, not like Sarko's, but I mean, feels a little bit more realistic that this big guy isn't that fast. But this is still a reasonable pace and they're pretty fun to use. And yeah, I'm definitely quite lucky that I did get a little, um, a little mutation on the first try because this color is pretty cool i'm gonna swim it into my dino pen back here but yeah this this creature is pretty cool that's gonna be fun to enjoy this was a fun little day i always like when they add new dinos in it's always fun to explore them and i think this is gonna fit in just perfectly fine with the rest of the world yeah definitely a big upgrade from the colors that i had the, the extra red i think that we got is pretty damn nice anyway that's going to be it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel and hopefully i'll see you in the next one goodbye